Employees at a small Christian university in western New York have been fired over using their pronouns in work emails, according to reports. Reagan Zelaya and Shua Wilmot, both residence hall directors, were asked by administrators at Houghton University to remove the words she slash her and he slash him from their email signatures, saying they violated a new policy, according to the New York Times. When they refused to remove it, they were fired. And this is incredibly bizarre. And they've come out and they've said it's because they have uncommon gender neutral names that have resulted in them being misgendered in the past during email correspondence. Meaning, if you don't know who Reagan, particularly spelled R-A-E-G-A-N, you wouldn't necessarily know if that's a male or a female you know, person or Shua Wilmot. You don't know. So they're thinking they're doing like a favor to people and letting them know, like, I'm a guy, I'm a lady. And instead they got fired for it. And uh, I thought that was just a very strange and kind of surprising reaction to, to, to fire them. What'd you think about this? Okay. Um, well, I think it's a little silly for firing someone over pronouns. I mean, I could be about the same as firing someone over not using pronouns. Right. <laughs> I think pronouns are ridiculous, but I don't care if somebody else uses them. And I certainly, right. uh, I mean, I may roll my eyes when someone sends one and it, she, her, hers, like, do, do I need to know that? Like, <laughs> maybe I could understand if like you went by a different pronoun, Z's or something, whatever, you know, I don't even know what yeah. that is, but you know, it, it, but I don't buy, um, I, I don't buy that you're doing that as a, uh, because you're afraid that someone's not going to uh, misgender you or you're afraid someone's going to misgender you. Cause why wouldn't you just put miss Reagan Zalea? Right. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Why would you have to do? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it more appropriate if you're doing it as a, as a, a business or is trying to be appropriate in emails, wouldn't you just put Mr. Or Mrs. Beside the, your first name? When you're, I, I mean, I hear you. I guess the question is, if you're a professor at a college and you're a professor, whatever, whatever, you wouldn't be professor, Mrs. Whoever or professor, Mr. Whoever. I guess not. You know, so that's the only thing I'm not sure of. But the, supposedly now the school came out and said, oh, we would never fire someone just for this. Like, that's not, uh, you know, how we do things. However, in the termination letter, uh they were actually told that they were being fired for refusing to remove the pronouns. <laughs> so, we so, would never do that, but that's exactly yeah, that doesn't sound like that. us. <laughs> no, that's weird. But yeah, that's why we did it. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. University spokesman Michael Blankenship told Fox News the school has, quote, never terminated an employment relationship based solely on the use of pronouns in staff email signatures. Over the years, We've required anything extraneous be removed from email signatures, including scripture quotes, he added. Uh, Houghton University remains steadfastly committed to offering the Christian education that our students are promised. Uh, but again, it was in the termination letter that they got fired for not removing pronouns. Uh, you know, look, this is a, an incredibly strange thing to me because I also think of the flip side. If the school wanted professors to use pronouns and these professors refused to use them would they get fired should they get fired you know like i i just don't know where the line is on things like this i i agree with you on the pronoun thing i don't get it um i don't need to you know and like i said i or like you said i don't care if anyone uses them that's on them it's just it doesn't matter to me right but i guess if you have a name that wouldn't be easily recognizable you know, again, you're, you're absolutely right. There could be more to it. It just doesn't seem either way. Like it's something that you would lose your job over. Seems kind of weird. Like nowadays that, you know, that you could lose your job over wanting people to know that you're a guy or a girl, a man or a woman, like to clarify that for people would actually be something that could cause you to get fired. Seems very strange. It does. But what were we doing before three years ago? Did they just become professors or whatever? Right. Because we weren't, nobody was using these 
before I, I, I don't know, 2020 probably. Right. I don't, if they were, it definitely wasn't something that was known. So or did you just become, I don't even know. Are they professors? They said they're like, it's not like they're just RAs. Well, they say maybe, employees, uh, they're residence hall directors. Yeah. So, so yeah, so they're is. not professors. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know what you were using prior to, um, 2020, 2019. Uh, what were we using to not, Hey, thank you for your email, but I'm actually a he. I, I, right. <laughs> oh, my bad. God forbid. I, or you just <laughs> ignore it and somehow you put it in the email, but, uh, you know, the reply email that you are who you are. I, I, I don't, yeah. it, it's just, I don't buy it. I don't think you should be fired for it, but I, I, can you just put anything in like your new curriculums, like, or your new, like, like, ah, I need you to slaughter three lambs. Right. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, well, it's, it's in the employment agreement. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not illegal to kill lambs. Uh, right. a lamb, <laughs> lambs be, are slaughtered all the time. That's right. So if you refuse, can you be fired? Like, I, just because it's in your new, you know, your new bylaws or your new rules. It's a fair question. Know. Yeah. It doesn't seem like that thing. Houghton, Hutton. I'm sure we're going to get blasted because we I know. To say it, but I mean, there are probably 28 <sighs> students there. I don't know that any of them Houghton. will see us. <laughs> yeah, uh, it doesn't seem like it. it. Seems like if they sue, they're not going to have a leg to stand on with that. But yeah. what do I know? Well, I will say this. I mean, in response to all of this happening, a petition supporting these RAs, whatever they were, uh, has been signed by nearly 600 alumni in protest. So, like saying that this shouldn't happen, they should not get fired over this. Over 600 alumni have signed a petition. Take that with a grain of salt. 